Good afternoon to everybody. And somehow that sounds different than when Hero says it. No, I don't know why. But it is Saturday around 12.30 p.m. It is the 12th of November. And I am running around to get some last minute items for our event this evening. As you know, we do host the UFC events. And every time we have a big event like that, we get quite busy. And tonight's fight is going to be pretty spectacular. Anyway, as I said, I'm on the way to do some things. One thing I'm going to do is send out this card. And that's the thank you card that's going to include a little money in there for Vincent. We want to thank him again for participating. He was the only one who participated. So even though he had some eggshells still left over, it wasn't a big deal. I mean, just the effort alone was appreciated. And uh, we hope that some of you will join us in the next challenges as well. But anyway, I'm here to the post office. I'm going to drop that in. And also here wanted me to mention a big thank you to everybody for subscribing. We have just hit 500,000 subscribers just a few days ago, I guess. And without all of you, we would be just a very, very small channel. And he wanted to express his extreme pleasure and delight and gratitude for all of you who have been part of it. I'm just a cameraman, so I'm very fortunate to work with him as well, and I get to eat the stuff. So, thank you for that, allowing me to eat the stuff. But I'm here, and I'm going to drop this off. And again, thank you all so much. We hope you liked today's episode. Take care. Welcome to another edition of Hiroyuki Terada, Diaries of a Master Sushi Chef. Hiro, how are you? Hey, I'm very, very good. Good afternoon. <laughs> good afternoon to you. All right, Hiro, what do we got going on today? Today we are going to make uh, katsudon. It's a very popular dish in Japan. Uh, something over the lines. Katsudon. Okay. We have also the oyakodon and uh, don, yakiniki don. So many something don, don, don. A dong is a mean like a bowl. Okay. And then uh, uh, steam rice and something over the rice. And katsu is basically fried pork, right? Uh, fried pork. Okay. Very nice. I think last time, last time, and we had we had uh, katsu curry. Katsu curry, yes. Katsu curry. That's what we have done before. So today is a katsu dong. Okay. Yes. And got some requests for this. Yeah. So here, what are the ingredients? The ingredients here, of course, uh, uh, pork, pork meats. Okay. Uh, of course, if you don't like pork, you can instead chicken. Okay. Uh, it's good too. And chicken. what would that be called? <laughs> uh, tori no katsudon. Tori katsu. Chicken katsudon. Chicken katsudon. Uh, actually, if people say katsu, is a pork is a more popular. Yeah. In Japan. Most people get pork. So people usually think katsu is pork. Okay. Uh, tonkatsu, actually, tonkatsu. Right. So, yeah, we're gonna use uh, pork today. Okay. Mm. And then I'm gonna use the flour and the panko and the egg for making the katsu. The, like a, how they call this one, the kind of crisp inside, outside? Yes. Okay, then this is a, the soup. 
a soup or one more sauce. The water, soy sauce, meeting, and then a little bit of sesame oil. This one is a is option. If you don't like it, you don't need it. And this is a shichimi pepper also. This is a, this two is option. If you don't like it, don't put it. Okay. So if you like a little bit spicy, you can you can add it. And the uh, I'm gonna slice up the onion, and I'm gonna use a scallion. That's all the ingredients. Okay. Okay. So first I'm gonna cut to the uh, vegetable. Sounds good. And we're gonna, after we're gonna make a katsu. Okay. All right. And a seaweed anyway. This is also the decoration. Uh, I'm gonna top of the after that after decorated on the plate. I'm gonna put seaweed on on the top. Okay. So also, also this is an option first to cut the onion. Okay, cut the onion. And then next one is a uh, scallion. You can cut uh, this one also easy this way, but I'm going to do cut a little bit too different way. But of course, this is a triangle shape or something. All right. Make a katsu from katsu. Okay. First, I'm gonna put the, uh, take out a little bit of water out, making the uh, salt and pepper. Okay. Then next one is going to the flour and the egg and panko. And then the scrapping egg. And the reason why we do this so we can actually grab onto the egg, mm -hmm. which will in turn grab onto the panko. And the next one is into the egg. Mm -hmm. Then a panko. And then straight to in fryer. Okay. Up. How long in here, Hero? Uh, how long I think to you? Five minutes. Oh, five minutes yeah. though? Okay. Again, I'm gonna check. Okay. Very good. Okay, after five minutes, cut is ready. Let's check. 
use the bamboo skewer. Pick up this and wait one, two, three. Then check. It's hard. Okay. It's ready. Okay, I'm gonna keep cut this one for here. Okay. For the short moment. Then I'm gonna start to make the sauce. Okay. Uh, here is uh, the ratio of the, between soy sauce and the meal. Then we have a uh, two ounce meal and two ounce soy sauce, and then here's uh, eight ounce uh, water. Okay. And then we're gonna use the uh, dashi. But uh, instead of dashi and water, here's uh, eight ounce of the soup stock. The uh, last segment that we showed, well, that we can use. That would be better, huh? That's okay. Uh, uh, instead of the dashi and water. Okay. Okay. So. Meaning, soy sauce, and a little bit of dashi. and then onion. And you just cook it to the onions are much yeah, softer? All the way um, to do get soft. Okay. Uh, uh, boiling, keep boiling. Okay. Yes. Okay, so this is the option, uh, the sugar. If you like a little bit more sweet, you can add the, the sugar as much as you want. Okay? This is the option. It's not really necessary if you don't like. Okay, so next step. Um, this is also actually the option, uh, sesame oil, if you like. Just a little bit of sesame oil. Very nice. And and uh, I'm going to add to the egg. So cracking it again. That's it. Again. We should just point out really quick. We had some egg earlier, Hero. Right. Yeah, we can use this egg too. This is possible. I mean, this is what you use to. To the egg wash for the, oh, the pork on katsu. Yeah, but uh, it's okay. You can use the other one. Right. I'm just using the new one. So. Okay. And the uh, okay. Let's go next step. We're gonna add in scallion. And half of the scallion. I'm gonna add on the pan. Then put the egg. Like that. And then half egg, you know, hard or a little bit softer. Actually, I prefer a little bit, of, you know, half egg is a little bit soft. If you like all the way cook well done, it's up to you. Yeah, I prefer it soft as well. Okay. Uh -huh. So you don't mix it up too much. No, mix up too much. I Just let it cook like slowly. That. Okay. okay. And that's it. I'm gonna keep off. Okay. So next step, I have a rice bowl of the rice here. Okay. And the uh, the katsu. Yeah, yeah cutting to cut the katsu. Ah, oh, smells so good. Okay, pass the setup on the plate. Okay. Okay. It's a it's a huge katsu. And the next one is uh, this one, the uh, main stuff. Yeah, this is on the top. It's a little bit too, too much sauce is here, but that uh, you can just uh, it's kind of huge, the big. Wow. That's a long one. This looks so good. This and the uh, this is also option. The uh, shichimi pepper, if you like, you can add it just a little bit. And the uh, fish scallion. I hope this one. I'm gonna cut a little bit. And the, uh, if you like a seaweed.
That's it. Let's look at this dish here. Another amazing meal you can make at home. Or come down here and we'll make it for you. <laughs> this looks so good. All right, Hero, thank you so much. This okay. looks delicious. Thank you. Well. I only see one problem. There's only one plate and there's two of us. So. Oh, yeah, there's, but uh, this one is huge. We'll split it? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, Hero. Thank you very much. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give us a like, subscribe, comment below, and share it. And we'll see you all very, very soon. Bye-bye. And now to a part that even I can't resist and I can't wait, Hero. The tasting part. Mm. Katsu done. Katsu done. Enjoy. Okay. I'm gonna use that spoon. This corner. Wow. My mouth is literally watering. Mmm. Mm. Pretty good. Very good. Very good. Mm. <laughs> I'm glad you like your own cooking. That's a positive thing. Oh, this is so good. I'm also enjoying this. Yeah. We were just saying how the broth isn't that strong. Just perfect mix of ingredients. Very good. There's a slight hint of sugar, which is really, really good. Of course, the soy sauce and the onion. Mm. Onion is very, very well cooked. I haven't been able to get a um, piece of pork, but there's one here at the end. Try that. Mmm. Really well seasoned, the pork. I think you could actually taste the salt and pepper, but you can. Salt and pepper. Yeah. yeah. And uh, pork cutlets, I always like a little thickness. Yeah. Pickle. I think for me, and this is very unhealthy to declare, but I would ha like more f fat on my yeah, pork. Fat, fat, yeah, more, more fatty like part. Fatty part is good. Like a nice, nice fat piece of pork chop. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Also, enjoy to eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Also good. <clears throat> you know, there's one reason why we share the recipes with everyone out here on YouTube. It's that so they can create the same thing. And it's kind of like we're all cooking together. You're gonna eat the same exact thing what we're cooking, you know? And of course, the technique may not be the same or the presentation may, may not be the same, but still, yeah, uh, the taste is... Of course, you can, you can make it more nicer too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So good, Hero. All right, mm -hmm. on to the next. See you all soon.